hear demanding is a tax on Wall Street, which is really fitting because 25 years ago, um, ACT UP held its very first direct action here on Wall Street, demanding the release of AIDS drugs uh, to actually benefit people living with HIV. At the time, folks may remember, there were no effective AIDS drugs, and so we had a situation where the demand was, you corporations need to get us the drugs now. Well, today we have those drugs. They're available, they are affordable in some cases if they're made generically, and yet we're still massively short of the funding we need to actually be able to get those drugs to the people who are most to need them. So today, folks from ACT UP New York, ACT UP Philadelphia, ACT UP Boston has been revived, ACT UP Rhode Island, folks are kind of coming out of the woodwork for the 25th anniversary, and then coming together with Occupy, which is very exciting. 25 years ago, lots of things looked different in our society than they do now. And the idea of stepping off from the sidewalk into the street and risking arrest just went against everything you're ever raised with, at least that I was. I would never have uh, easily associated with people who were very flamboyantly gay. Like, oh, that's not my style. Um, well, some of those screaming faggots, just like they started the Stonewall Revolution, were so courageous. It was a transforming experience working with everyone. And I learned that no matter who you are, no matter what your background is, no matter what you've done in life, if you're willing to do some work, you can make a difference in this circumstance. The very first demonstration of ACT UP was on Wall Street. I actually was a bond trader at J.P. Morgan. And uh, I got handed a flyer on my way to work. I never saw the demo, but everybody on the trading floor got handed these flyers. So we were all talking about it before, uh, before, we, before uh, work started that morning. I went home that night and I saw the demonstration as the lead story on, on the national news. Dan Rather was reporting it. And there was the FDA uh, at a press conference announcing steps to speed up AIDS drug development. Um, so there was this immediate cause and effect. And I thought that was an amazing display of power. And I made sure that I was at the very, the very next meeting of ACT UP and I never looked back. I started going to meetings, I became head of fundraising, and then when ACT UP had its first anniversary demonstration, also on Wall Street, that was my first arrest. Well, ACT UP utterly changed the way the U.S. government, the, the entire United States, and the mainstream media dealt with the AIDS crisis. The, the drugs would not be here if it weren't for ACT UP. Um, so, ACT UP's, um, ACT UP is absolutely crucial for saving millions of lives, and, and that's really important. This morning, uh, nine people were arrested outside of the stock exchange just as the opening bell rang. And the demand of that action was also this Robin Hood tax. The idea is a tax of 0.5% or less, uh, less than one half of 1% on all stock transactions. So just like you and I pay uh, pay a tax when we buy a pair of jeans or um, you know go to the corner store to buy something, the, uh, the idea is that we should in fact tax Wall Street, that in fact every time they buy or sell a stock or a bond or a derivative or any of these complex instruments, there needs to be a tiny, tiny little tax. 